walk into the top part of Croton Dam. What about wildlife? We are walking to the top part of the dam. So look at that. People use the damn trash cans. You cannot beat that. Now we're on the bridge that I was photographing earlier, but look at this. That's hot. That's hot. Dave is setting up his tripod there. We have got our setups. Just to kind of put in perspective how we're situated up here. Interesting, isn't it? So I know I don't like his frame. Why would you not bring the 1635? I feel like Dave is not a real professional. I'm starting to, to see that. I have the 28, which is actually just perfect enough. How the heck can I shake concrete? Is he serious? Yeah. Here's my setup for this. This is six seconds, F9. So he's got to go back to the car because he chose the wrong lens. He has the 24 to 70 on, on the A7R4. This is definitely a 16 to 35. <laughs> That's our setup right there. For some odd reason, Dave always has his tripod set up taller than mine. I never understand that. Talk about living life on the edge. This is my perspective. So let's raise that up so you can really get a nice vantage point of that. Crazy, I know. So that's Dave's perspective. He's kind of got the tripod propped up on this railing here. So that way you could get a higher vantage point. And he's got the A7R4 with the 16-35 G Master. And I have the Zeiss Otis 28 1.4 with the A1. Saray ST125, ST124 tripod over there. So as Dave is demonstrating to us, one thing about something like this, having a good tripod is very essential. Why? Because to hold, to kind of be in this kind of position, to hold the weight, because this is not a traditional position to have your tripod, it's not. But you don't want anything to break, you don't want anything to snap, and you have especially don't want anything to fall. Yes, you are going to pay a little bit more to get a quality tripod, but if you buy quality gear, it will last. And this tripod is going to last and it's not gonna tip over because you don't want it to go down there. So just like how I have here, I have mine in an even worse position, but it's sturdy enough to where I don't have to think about it. It's, it's gonna hold. I make sure that it's good quality gear so that way it doesn't fail me when I'm out in situations like that because you don't want it to fail you. That is Dave over there. <laughs> it looks like a dead body. I should take a picture of that, I really should. But yeah, that's what he's going through to get his shot. Interesting, isn't it? I have switched lenses. <laughs> I hate you. I have switched lenses. I'm not using the 28, I'm using the 55 um, Otis lens 1.4 because I am doing 8K video recording right now. It's in standby. It's not actually recording, but that's the shot that I'm getting. So if I zoom in there, you can see, isn't that nice? Testing out the 8K, of course, since this is the first Sony camera to have 8K. Then the crazy man over here is doing, he's using pixel shift. I have not even used that myself. Or are you doing a time lapse? Time -lapse. I should shake the rail while he's doing that. <laughs> yeah, see my setup there? Got the 55-1.4 on the A1. So on the front of my lens, I had from the mist down below earlier, it was like some kind of a, the, the water kind of got stuck to the lens in a way. I had to bust out this. This is my Zeiss cleaning kit. And so I had to use some of this solution, which is really good. So you just take this, put it on a microfiber cloth and clean the lens. Once you do that, it looks like brand new again. I always carry that too. So that's essential when you're out on location to, you know, have cleaning solution, have a microfiber cloth, because you never know when you're gonna have to use that. As well as a, a blower for your lens and sensor because sometimes you might get dust if you're changing lenses if you're using a zoom lens then eh, you're lucky you don't have to worry about changing lenses out on location but for someone like me who is using prime lenses yeah you kind of need this to 
you know, one of the bellows here. You need that to blow your lens or blow your sensor. So it's always good to, to have that. I think I pretty much have wrapped up what I wanted to get. I think that's about it for me. Got everything. Go through some of the pictures later on and see what we got. But I think we got a lot of good, good stuff today. So I'm happy. I'm very happy. So until next time, I'll see you later.